rocks of the dark, deep, dank dungeons of hell and brimstone, fire. Anyways, never mind. This is the Warlocks. This is how they've changed. More specifically to demonology, they've changed demonic form. You can use it at any time now. You build demonic fury as you do damaging spells, and as you use demon the metamorphosis, it drains it, and you basically use it at your own will. It's got 10 second cooldown other than that, but you're free to use it whenever. So, off we go to the standard changes. They still got Affliction, Demonology, Destruction. Each specialization seems to have its own build meter. Like Affliction and Destruction, I think, are both going to use Soul Shards. But Demonology has this, this bar that you build up so you can use Metamorphosis. So, Anyways, Talents. Level 15, Regeneration Abilities. Dark Regeneration restores 50% of your maximum health and increases all healing received by 25% over 20 seconds. 3 minute cooldown. Soul Leech. Your Shadow Bolt, Soul Fire, Demonic Slash, Incinerate, and Malefic Grip heal you for 10% of the damage dealt. Harvest Life. Drains the life of all enemies within 15 yards of the target, causing 5,327 shadow damage and restoring 3 to 4.5% of the caster's total health every every second ever and lasts I'm guessing six seconds level 30 howl of terror 40 second cooldown howl causing five enemies within 10 yards to flee in fear and for 20 seconds damage caused may interrupt the effect when hit by a damaging attack the cooldown on howl of terror is reduced by one second mortal coil 45 second cooldown causes the enemy to enemy target to run in horror for three seconds the caster restores 15 percent of their maximum health so Death Coil of the Warlock. I guess they changed it because DKs have the same name. Whatever. So, Shadow Fury. Same thing as it is in Cataclysm. Stun a bunch of targets in an area with an instant spell. And it's got a 30 second cooldown. 40, level 45, Soul Link. 10 second cooldown. When active, all damage and healing to you is linked to your pet. Replaces health funnel. Or wait, when active, all damage and healing you and your demon take is shared. Oh, recasting this spell cancels the effect. Okay, gotcha. Sacrificial Pact. One minute cooldown. Your demon sacrifices half its current health to shield its master for 300% of its of the sacrificed health. Last 10 seconds. If you have no demon, your health is sacrificed instead. Interesting. Dark Bargain. Prevents all damage for 10 seconds. 3 minute cooldown. When the shield fades, 50% of the damage prevented is dealt over 20 seconds. Level 60. Blood Fear. Consumes 10% of your maximum health to instantly strike fear in the enemy, causing it to run in fear for up to 20 seconds. Fear Restrictions. A Warlock can only inflict fear upon one target at a time. Damage caused may cancel the fear. Interesting. That's new. Burning Rush, instant, drains 3% of your maximum health per second to increase your movement speed by 50%, lasts until cancelled. Unbound Will, 1 minute cooldown, consumes 20% of your maximum health to purge all magic effects, moving, impairing effects, and all effects which cause loss of control of your character. And this is going to be the one I'll be showing you some of the new pets you can have. Level 75, Grimoire of Supremacy. You get new pets. And if I could read that because it's messed up, kind of goes up in a thing. Replacing your normal minions, these deal 10% additional damage and have more powerful abilities. But they need to fix the tag so it reads right. Grimoire of Service instantly summons a demon who fights for 30 seconds. Or summons a second demon, my bad. Grimoire of Sacrifice, your sacrifice, you sacrifice your demon to gain 15% increased damage and health, lasts 15 minutes. This effect is doubled for the first 15 seconds, summoning another demon cancels the effect. Level 90 spells, Archimon's Reven or Vengeance. One minute cooldown causes an enemy to suffer 30% of all damage you take, lasts 10 seconds. Passive ability it gives you, enemies who attack you suffer 5% of all damage they deal to you. This effect is disabled while on cooldown. Kill Jaden's Cunning. 
One minute cooldown, you can cast and channel while moving for 10 seconds. Passive, you can cast and channel while moving, but doing so increases the cast time or channel period by 50% and reduces your movement speed by 30%. This effect is disabled while on cooldown. Manoroth's Fury increases the radius of your area effect spells by 200%. That just doesn't seem safe if you're trying to CC. If there's even CC in this, I haven't been in a dungeon, but I will be doing one soon. Glyphs. I think Warlock's actually got some cool ones, if I remember rightly. I had, didn't look at it before I started. Carrion Swarm. Your Carrion Swarm no longer knocks targets back. I believe that's just a dot type thing where a swarm of insects hit them. Enslaved Demon reduces the cast time of your Enslaved Demon by 50. I have Killrog can now... F oh, actually, your I have Killrog is no longer stealth and can now place your demonic circle. In addition, the movement speed of the I have Killrog is increased by 50% and allows to fly into areas where mount flying mounts are enabled. Felguard. Your Felguard will equip a random two-handed axe, sword, or polearm from your backpack. Health Funnel. Your Health Funnel instantly restores 15% of your demon's health, but has a 10 second cooldown. Nightmares. Your Fell Steed and Dread Steed can cross water while running and leave a trail of flames, which I have on. Ritual of Souls. Reduces the mana cost of your Ritual of Souls by 70%. Glyph of Shadow Bolt, and I'll show you this because it's pretty cool looking. Um, I do have it equipped, so cool. Uh, splits it into three smaller attacks so it'll do three attacks and it splits a sh one shadow bolt into three and it does three separate hits it's cool unending breath you increases the swim speed of targets affected by your unending breath by 20 percent so that's pretty normal let us run down here and go maim and destroy something with shadow bolts real quick uh, except for the fact that I don't have anything equipped Oh my god! Uh oh. This can't end well. Uh. Wow. Well. Considering I can't. Oh wow, Hand of Gul'dan's actually an AoE spell now. Oh, that was cool looking. Well, apparently there's a new thing for that. I'm gonna summon an Abyssal because I can and I'm trying to find stuff. Oh my god! This is the worst instructional video ever! Don't kill me! I'm going to die. Worst instructional ever. Ever. Oh my gosh. Oh, here's Shadow Bolt. Shadow Bolt, go! And knocks him back. Look at that. Ultra Shadow Bolt, go. Wow, if if a video can go any worse, I don't know how. That, it, yeah, I just, yeah, that, no. That just shouldn't happen. That was terrible. Terrible. Thank you, minions! Oh, are you seriously all on aggressives? Oh, my, oh, oh, oh there's no assist. I didn't attack anything. Why are you attacking things? Oh, glitches. Isn't Shadow Bolt pretty now? So cool looking. This is Daniel. This is my worst instructional video ever. I'll see you next time. And I guess while on a side note, I did forget to show you the new pets. Which I was going to do. So, my bad. As I said, worst instructional video ever. Ever. So anyways. As you can see, this is one of them. This is the Wrath Guard. Or Wraith Guard. Wrath Guard. Wraith Guard. Wrath Guard. Fun stuff. Okay, we got a Fell Imp on his way out. Super Big Imp, go! Oh, yeah, and my Shadow Bolts actually have a chance to summon a Wild Imp. That's one of the abilities of Demonology. And then Void Lord. Super Big uh, Void Walker with armor. I call you because I care. Observer. And last but not least, Shivara. Now. 
all kinds of things you can play and have fun with. But anyways, as I said before, this is Daniel. I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Worst video ever. And that's why it's going on YouTube.